everybody. We have such a nice music at the beginning that I could just sing with it. And we have such a nice day here in Slovenia, in Maribor. It's sunny and I hope you have a sunny day too. Hello and welcome to Three Years AMA. Anita Mlakar is my name and I am your host today as every Wednesday when we are doing this live AMAs. Please do write down in the chat, where are you and how is your weather there? so that we could have a chat la later. And of course, there's opportunity to comment, to ask questions, to be with us today. I'm not alone. Of course, Sandy Beaton, CEO of 3Air, will be also with me in a couple of seconds. But first, let me just invite you to be a part of our communities, a part of our channels. We are on Twitter, we are on Discord and on Telegram, and we are actually all the time talking to you, answering your questions, uh, of course, giving you information about what is going on in three airs. So please, please stay with us. Today, you have the opportunity to ask questions here. Uh, and of course, you can uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can recommend it to your friend. You can like it. Today's MA, of course, if you do like it, or just write uh, something, whatever it is to stay in connection with us. And I'm always at the beginning of this MA doing a short introduction of our project and of course three airs. So let me do this today also. Africa lacks connectivity and digital resources to scale business, causing a detriment to everything from commerce and communications to education and healthcare. And our goal is to drive true financial inclusion and equal opportunities for billions of people who still don't have access to high-speed internet. So 3Air empowers them to make life-changing progress in work, banking, education, and in health. Education, economy, banking, opportunities are just a few benefits of stable internet. And 3Air will empower a new upgrade in infrastructure and technological implementation bringing broadband internet, digital TV and telecom to the entire population. And this will automatically unearth new business possibilities, streamline educational resources, tether healthcare network connectivity, and more and more. So that is a short introduction. And now let me welcome the CEO of 3Air, always with us, Sandy Bittens. Hello. Hello, Anita. Hi, everyone. <laughs> hey, Sandy. Are you I think having... we're in a good mood today. Oh, I yeah. think not a lot of people are, uh, you know, at least yeah. not in the crypto space. I don't think there are any real smiles there. Really? Yeah. Okay. Oh my god! Mm. Is that something that is not allowed? It is. It is a. It is a sad day. It is actually a sad week, I think, in the, in the crypto yeah, space. Yeah, but still, you know, we need some smiles, right? We need some yeah, positive absolutely. thinking. Absolutely. Just ask Petra, please, because we're doing a positive week this week. So, yeah. Really? Yes. <laughs> Maybe you should sing something to us. Sing? Yeah. Did you say sing? Sing, sing, sing. I will write Maybe a song. Be happy. <laughs> I will write a song to the music that we have at the beginning, okay? And then you also sing it, right? Yeah. I think you like to sing. Is that true? I do like to sing, but it, that doesn't mean that I know how to sing because everybody <laughs> likes to sing. You know? There's a difference. <laughs> yeah, everybody likes to sing when nobody is listening. Yeah, and you know, when you're under a shower, except the neighbors, maybe I should ask them, no one else can hear you, so you're safe. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't think that in my shower anyone can hear me. No, probably not. Really? Yeah, oh my yeah. God. I think that I could be heard here. So uh, I'm not going to ask. <laughs> we have already some people joining us, which is very nice. Welcome. Hello. I see you're always, already writing comments. As you said, it is sunny on my side. It's been rainy since last month. Uh, a sunny day is a good day. Indeed. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. Sandy, you're still coughing. What does that mean? I'm still coughing. Um... Well, I'm I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better. Uh, I actually started my workouts again. So uh, today was the third day after probably a month. So that's not not really usual for me. Um, but um, yeah, the cough isn't going away. 
So mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, but I do have history with, uh, you know, asthma and bronchitis and probably I catch something, some of those, and that could then last ca coughing also for two, three months, hopefully not, but okay. else I'm feeling fine, else I'm feeling fine. Okay. Well, just to, to give you the info, I was also having basketball yesterday and of course, pushing myself to the limits I couldn't get out of the bed this morning. <laughs> But this is how it is when you're 40 plus and there's nothing else to expect. <laughs> well, I, it, that's true. That's true. But if you really do it regularly, it shouldn't be as bad, right? Yeah. Uh, you need to take care a bit of the injuries, but um, I actually feel better when I do workouts. So after this month, I actually started feeling pretty, pretty, can I say shitty? Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, so, um, but just after a few workouts already, but the first, the first workout was really, really hard. Um, mm -hmm. um, it was hard, yeah, to do, but now it's already a bit better. I'll, I'll yeah. get back in shape, uh, pretty, pretty <laughs> fast. And it, and it's important. You, you cannot, if you don't take care of your physical health and strength, you can also not be, you know, healthy mentally. Um, that's my opinion. So it needs to go hand in hand. If you want to have really good focus and, and everything and work good, um, you also need uh, physical strength. That's true. That's true. But you know, uh, I cannot help help it. I was smiling last time that we had a tournament, a veterans tournament in basket and the judges had a meeting. And this leader of the judges said, please be careful with this population of players because, you know, their mind wishes to play, but the body can't. And I heard it and I thought, oh, my God, are you really that old? <laughs> that were the instructions. Can you believe it? So, yeah. That was, uh, so um, who was that? The, the jury or what? Yeah, the yeah. judges, you know, the judges. The judges, are, the yeah, judges. and there was. So how this, old are the judges? They are. They are not all that <laughs> young. They are younger, some of them, but of course, some are also older. But you know, they 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 have this. Their job is to watch over us so that <laughs> they don't have too many injuries, you know, on the tournament tournament because this is after thirty five. That means tournament thirty five and plus, and there are also people sixty and seventy years old, you know, and it could be dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah maybe yeah. but i i still think so 40 50 shouldn't be a problem to be honest no yeah we'll see <laughs> okay sandy now you you said before that this is uh, some kind of a sad week are you gonna tell us why uh, what is happening well, it's, 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 it's nothing nothing really to do uh with with Twitter. Uh, at least not directly, indirectly for sure. Uh, but um, the, whoever is following a bit the crypto market is just, you know, we have a continuous downtrend and there were there was uh, yeah, a, a crash uh, that uh, pulled Bitcoin down below 30K again and again today. So it, it happened twice this week. And... Um, yeah, probably the, the, the culprit right now is mostly uh, Luna. That's a, a, a project that I found really cool. Um, I think the team behind it is sound and, and everything, but it's just uh, got, it looks like it got attacked. Um, so they they're, they're, apparently there was a coordinated attack against it. And um yeah, there was a big sell-off from some parties uh, that. Uh, so what Luna actually does, it's uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, coin that's used to kind of collateralize a stable coin. So something that should be pegged to one to one to to the U.S. dollars, and that that coin is USD. And uh, they were probably one of the biggest DeFi's. Not probably, of course, for sure they were one of the biggest DeFi's out there, um, and. Um, Luna recently hit a high of $120 and uh, right now it's, I don't know, so it, it's changing so quickly, but I actually saw it today below $1. So it went from $120 to, to below $1 in, I think, in, in six weeks. 
and it went from from 90 to to a dollar in in two days it, it's crazy how fast it happened and um, yeah there were a lot of losses uh, a lot of also realized losses so and um, a part of the collateralization has also been now recently done through Bitcoin. So when, once once this came down, it also took Bitcoin a bit down with it. And Bitcoin then takes everything else down. Mm. Um, so it, it, it's really not the best time to be in the market. Uh, it's probably one of the worst times. And some some people say it's actually the worst, uh, the worst thing that happened to crypto since a long, long, long time. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, there needs to be a bottom somewhere, right? So from the bottom, you can only go up then. But it, it, the question is, it, did we hit it or uh, is still, it's still, you know, more bleeding, bleeding coming? That's kind of a question. Uh, but the market sentiment is, I think we, we've got down to 10 on the market sentiment. So that's like really extreme fear. I think we hit this only a couple of times or maybe three times in, in, in the history of Bitcoin. So it's that bad. And <clears throat> what, it, what it actually then means to for three years is that uh, right now, but not only for three years, so whatever whatever project wants to launch right now, it's it's like a dense, that sentence. So it doesn't... Uh, when when the when the fear index is so 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 high so that there is extreme fear out there are no buyers out especially not for 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 new altcoins a small altcoin so maybe people are looking into into getting some some um buying in on the dip and some bigger projects that i that they you know that they established themselves already but if we would launch three year right now at this moment in time, I don't think we would have a good uh, good launch. And it's not it, it's not about the project at all. And I've been talking also right today. I had a a, a meeting here in Dubai because a representative of a exchange that we are that we are working with um, came here. So we I had a meeting with them, and he said like just look we we didn't uh, we didn't talk to any uh, new project since two months that we would say okay let's launch a new project it's just none zero i said like we, we don't even look at them because it's right now it's not the right time to launch them and uh, you know he said whoever is smart uh, just waits out a bit and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it's um it's it's hard to say but we, we do need to unfortunately we do need to, to wait a bit still for for the launch i i do i do hope that the community understands this look uh, at these comments sunday look at these comments I'm happy that Twitter hasn't launched its token yet, and they agree. Very good delay, and so on and so on. So yeah, uh, we we have everything ready technically. So we have we have the token ready. We we've done the token, so it's uh, it's cross chain compatible right now. So this means that you know, because we are also looking to launching on another on another chain, so uh, you know to to get the most liquidity out of it, and we can also tap into some some other launch pool launch pads on on other chains and so on. So everything and and we are preparing still all the th all the stuff in in the background. Uh, but technically, we could launch tomorrow. It it wouldn't be a problem. We have a launch pad confirmed. We have a, a exchange confirmed. So uh, everything is in place. It's just that the market right now doesn't allow to to have a um, a good launch. And we would probably just everybody would just realize losses, and this doesn't make any sense because then from from something that you know it's just a loss since the beginning getting the things you know the token running back again it's so so hard and sometimes it's even impossible and as i said it's not so much about what the project actually does it's it's about what the market what the market does so once you're in the market you are you are subject to the market also um so um that's why we we have everything ready so once the mar once we see the market at least a, a bit turning uh, we'll, we'll, at this point in time, we'll, we'll uh, have a date. Um, this is what, what the agreements now are with the, with the launch pads and, and uh, the exchanges. So once the market starts turning, we set a date that's going to be a, about two to three weeks from that time. Because uh, what we what we want to do, and also the, the launch pads and exchanges want to do, is make some marketing before it. So that that takes around two to three weeks. So this is what what the plan right now is. 
um and it is a bit unfortunate but um it's it's actually to be honest right now it, it's out of our hands it is a smart weight uh look uh richard is saying sandy please focus on the work uh on the ground wait out the bear market a bit and then surprise the world yeah absolutely absolutely uh so the groundwork is um is starting uh this is something that i owe you from from last week right so i couldn't get any of the of the of the uh, team that's going to be working on ground on the call today uh because they're everybody's so busy preparing to to go there but um the team is going to be in drc there live uh, starting all the works in uh first week of June. So that's actually what two, three weeks from now, they'll be already there uh, starting the works. And uh, um, I'll, I'll make sure that uh, we get some pictures and some videos from, from DRC once this is starting. But um, no, we are doing a lot of background work in regards to, you saw the, the, the TMS, uh, right? The, the telecom management system. Uh, we, the, the, there is a, a full work going on in uh, putting that, what, what's, what's been done, on, uh, onto the blockchain. So uh, porting this over. And um, it, it's a lot of back, background work. It's nothing that, that uh, would, would kind of show in, in the front end. Uh, the front end will stay similar to what it is right now. Um, and the other thing that we are really working on and the, the, a whole team is working on this is uh, to actually get the mesh network system running. Um, so that's a, a big work that we, that we are doing. And of course, there is the there is also <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, uh, there's also the NFT marketplace that we are just uh, having as a site site uh, project right now, and uh, we'll show that today. I'm just waiting because there was just before we wanted to when, when we wanted to test it, there were some some errors still in. So uh, the the team is right now working on on uh, solving that so that you can actually see how the minting is done and you know how can you then buy it and that's already connected to the chain and and such stuff. What what you won't be seeing is the real NFTs, but I can show you a bit the real NFTs uh, that uh, you know the images that that we've got. Uh, that will be there present um, when there are three yards connected. I'll show you those uh, a bit a bit later. Okay, we will be talking about that in a minute. Uh, Sandy, maybe before that, uh, till uh, Rox join, joins us, we have announced a new partnership with Heroes, a gaming platform. That is a very interesting um, partnership, right? Yeah, so Heroes is actually they're they're launching their game, if you can call it a game. They're launching their game, uh, I think later later this week. I don't know if it's Friday or something like that. I'm not hundred percent sure. I haven't been following them um, you know, that closely that I would know exactly when they're launching. Uh, but but yes, uh, th this is actually something that came out of uh, early when when there were so many uh, events happening in Dubai. Um, and um, I, I met with the team in while I was in London, and then we finalized everything while I was in London. Um, and I think we'll have, but don't don't uh, take me by the word, but uh, it, it was kind of uh, verbally confirmed that uh, one of their team members uh, will come on our AMA uh, next Wednesday, and he'll be able to explain you everything about what they're doing, because I think that they're doing a really, really cool stuff. So um, they have a token economy and uh, in, inside an, an, an app. So it's actually, they build an app uh where uh, the, it, it's focused right now mostly on on universities and uh students there um and it allows you to you know make some those uh, gigs something like fiverr uh where where you are you you can provide some services and then you know somebody else would, would kind of need those services and then you can get paid for it inside that app but it's it's made a bit more like social fire more more socializing than you know regular um regular um applications in in that sense and what it also does it, it it keeps the whole record of what you have done that you can then later on present maybe when you when you go uh and apply for a job or something like that right and what they're doing they're also rewarding uh people for participating with with the token 
um and um they're they're doing some some cool stuff also with the token so uh i think it's a it's a nice uh it's a nice project and we do want to include it also into into the three-year ecosystem uh because as i said so um let let me let me show you one thing be, before we i see that that uh, rock is actually in our uh, uh background already wait ready to present but uh <laughs> he'll he'll need to wait for another minute or two or something like that um so just um let me see where i have it uh this one um I'll show you exactly where they come in. Um, so th this is this is uh, something that we've recently done and that represent the whole three-year ecosystem in as little steps as possible. So it's really a high-level overview. And what three-year is all about and what, what we're trying to do is actually <clears throat> connect the unconnected or connect the underconnected, uh, bank the unbanked. And of course, you know, if you're... A, Unconnected and, and unbanked, you also are, are kind of, uh, uh, you know, unempowered, let's say it like this. Um, so what, where we start is uh, we are connecting people to the internet, right? So if you want to bank the unbanked, right now the majority of the unbanked is also unconnected so we need to give them an internet connection and we do this with two technology that, that we have so the k3 last mile solution and our three air mesh internet that we are working on right now and then once you're connected to the internet you get a, a digital identity from us where you can actually you you use you can store everything on the, on uh this digital identity and uh, that's actually a provable record once you need to, I don't know, maybe you want to apply for a loan at one uh, point in time, or you want to get a job or something like that. You can always say, look, this is this is this, this is what, what I've done. And um, you can verify everything very easily because it's, it's done on a digital identity. And of course, you can also identify yourself with it. And then what we do is uh, we create uh, for the people a digital bank account. So literally what we're doing is we're giving them a wallet Wallet, and they can have a custodial wallet the, themselves, or we can take the, the custodial, uh, the, the, the part of the custodian and give them a no, non-custodial wallet just to make it easier to, for, for, the, uh, for entering. And of course, with all this time, what we are doing is, uh, is educating people. You know, that's the, the real empowerment there. And uh, you know, the next step is providing the, the uh, financial services. So uh, we have a fiat onboarding ramp, uh, an offloading ramp, and also peer-to-peer -peer, um, cash, crypto onboarding, and those stuff, DeFi. Uh, we're working on microloans and uh, on some staking and yield farming. And then we have our outside partners that will provide additional uh, digital revenue streams and here three year uh, uh, heroes come actually into play so you know we we are incorporating play to earn games learn to earn games uh, learn, learn to earn incentives and uh, you know social fi and um, um, heroes is kind of a a mix be, between um, social fi um, gamified social fight some something like that and you'll be able to to earn some some revenue on it so this is where where they come in as, as partners uh and of course once we put people through all those steps of course they are connected they they are banked and they're empowered now because you know they have the the financial tools they have the revenue streams and they have the knowledge right because we we educated them um the, this whole time um so this is this is kind of i i hope this uh, this gets a bit more clarity uh, again in, in how the, the whole three-year ecosystem is, uh, is uh, composed. Absolutely. So do write it down in a comment if you understand that, if, every, if everything is clear. I think, Sandy, you really did a nice explanation of the whole uh, ecosystem of three-year. Uh, it's now really easy to understand uh, the, everything that we're doing, actually. Now, Sandy, I see that people uh, look, there was at the beginning uh, this sentence. I've been looking forward to this since the announcement because, yeah, 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 we will be talking about NFTs and you have a presentation and a demo. And now I, I think it's time to invite Rog because he's waiting for so long. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hi, Rog. How are you? How are your days? Stressful? 
Yeah, a bit too much and a bit yeah. over the top, but it's I'm still alive, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah. <That's cool. laughs> okay. Well, if now... you made it here, then I think it's it's good. Yes. Go, let's say good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're going to be talking about uh, NFT market, right? Because um, this is something that everybody is expecting today, and you did uh, decide to to make a short presentation to explain, to show us something, um, actually to to show us what types of NFTs maybe and artists can we expect to find. So please go ahead, guys. Yeah, so so Rock will show you the the app and the, the infrastructure. There are no real NFTs in. We just threw threw in some some random images right now. So just don't look at the images. It's not about the images. It's about the marketplace. Yeah. I'll show you the images later. <laughs> yeah. So let me just maybe share the screen. Um, give me a second. I'll do this. Okay. I hope that you see the screen. Can you confirm, Sandy? Yes. Now we can. Yeah. Okay. So let's. I'll show you a bit of our new app that we've been building. Uh, so now, as we um, we are past to the past the stage of the pre-sales, so we're making an like all-in-one app that will evolve into our complete ecosystem. We started with the NFTs and the app that you will claim your tokens in. So let's start it. So you have the enter. Mm, so here is the like we have the basic view of the nfts as sandy said don't look at them they're cartoons they are placeholders but so you get the basic idea how the marketplace will look so we'll have some like basic functionality that everyone has we have some like names we have some collections so we can like separate authors and wing um and on the nfts we like have author, we have deadlines. We know when it was created, every author can write something about their picture, about their creation, why they think it's okay, what they want to message with it. Um, we're also implementing the royalty systems into our NFTs. So every author gets a share of every purchase. So every time you buy an NFT, every time you trade the NFT on the marketplace or anywhere else, you are still giving and like putting part of the purchase into the hands of the author, which actually created the NFT and the picture. So let me just connect my wallet to the Binance chain. Uh, we still have the same procedure that we have. Oh, okay, I'm already there. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Uh, just give me a second. Yeah, so okay, let me remind you. Yeah, it, it's still it, the whole app is still in development, so there might be some small problems, some errors now and there. It's it's not finished yet. So okay, so I logged in. Um, let's say I want to buy some NFT. I think the our magnificent Twitter logo is the best NFT to buy at the moment. I guess the price will be much higher, so definitely buy this one. <laughs> Uh, the standard procedure, I can approve my BUSD, connect to other chains, approve the other currencies that we'll have. I think Sandy will start with the BUSD. And yeah, we'll start we'll... with the BUSD, yeah, and then we'll we'll add once 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 our token launches, we'll we'll switch that to to three year. So you know, that'll apparently that'll be the first uh, official three year uh, utility. Yeah. So yeah, what what and you need to do first, first, you need to approve uh, spending of USD. That's a standard. You cannot spend USD if you didn't approve it yet, or that the app can spend it. So that's yeah, so why this is kind of that's the standard procedure on the every decentralized app because for your security, the smart contracts and the NFT marketplaces can't directly use your tokens, use your funds. So. Every time you want to make a purchase with the new currency or on the new marketplace, you need to approve it. Um, maybe I was too fast in the MetaMask. When you approve it, you can actually define how much you want to approve for the site or if you want to give them like full access to all of your tokens or things like this. So, okay, it takes three seconds or six seconds, depends on how fast the chain is. And then we have the 
buy button. And if we have enough of the funds, we get to the buy NFT method. We get the fees. Of course, we are on the Binance chain, so fees are low, almost like nothing. Confirm the purchase, and this is kind of it. You get the NFT. Okay. So, do, do, we, do yeah. we already have uh, also the, the, the back end where you can see your NFTs that you bought? Yeah, this is exactly what I wrote you about. We are still in the progress of doing that. So, I'd really like to show you, but we're still missing a few listeners, few functions to actually make it possible. So I can open it, but it won't work at the moment. So okay, yeah, and unfortunately, and, uh, you can also not see them in in the in your wallet unless you're using uh, a mobile wallet, right? I think MetaMask yeah, you, you, has you, NFT support only on the mobile version. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, they still <laughs> didn't add it. They're promising it for over a year now or something. So. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. will you be will will you be are you able to use uh, MetaMask only or also other uh, DeFi wallets? So yeah, we'll follow the trend of the other apps and follow the path that we set in our pre-sale app. So you'll also be able to connect with Wallet Connect, which means that you'll be able to connect any wallet you want. You can still use the MetaMask or MetaMask Mobile. You can use Trust Wallet. You can use any other wallet that you want that you prefer for the nfts and everything so yeah coinbase and i, I think there are over 50 wallets or something like that in the yeah I, I i mean we call i think we cover over 90 percent of the wallets with wallet connect so yeah that's very good based that's on your good. preference you can use any of it <clears throat> so, so and, and what we what we are doing is uh, right now we are actually um minting those um and and putting everything up just to support the the african um uh, the african artists so so we are currently is not taking any any share in in that one it may at, the, at a bit of a later stage but what we want to do is really support the local community grow the community so uh we'll be announcing a few good artists in the um, in in the near future, uh, we're already talking to them, and uh, also as you as you mentioned, uh, maybe uh, you know once more about the royalty system. So what it means is it's not only that once you mint an NFT and purchases through through this uh, through our marketplace, you know that that funds will go to the to the artist, but then we are implemented the royalty system so that whenever you know the the NFT changes hands. So for instance. I bought it from three year and then I sold it to someone else, you know, uh, a, a percentage and usually the standard uh, uh, royalty fee is now around 10%. So 10% of that purchase price would go directly to the, the wallet of the of the author so that the author actually gets <clears throat> gets, um, you know, some some kickback from from every time that uh, the, his uh, his artwork is actually sold. So I think that's really a cool thing. And another thing is, um, I think Rock, uh, we the the NFTs will be cross chain, right? Yeah. So yeah. So NFTs will implement the cross chain contract. We're gonna bridge them at least to our chain, maybe even on Ether or Algorand or whatever we need. So you will have a chance to use them on different markets on different chains. So. So it's going to be the same NFT. It's going to be the same yeah. NFT that you can actually put then on another chain. It's not going to be a copy, right? It's going to be the same NFT in that sense. Of course, you know, yeah. it's not like, you know, physically, it's nothing physical there. But um, the, the bridging will yeah. be like if when you bridge something from Binance Smart Chain to Scale Chain, the one on the Binance Smart Chain will actually stop existing and it will be get minted. Uh, you know, it will kind of get burned on Binance Smart Chain and it will get minted on on uh, on yeah. scale chain and then you could also potentially take that one from scale chain and then put it on algorand or something like that right yeah i mean we'll implement as much of them as we can and what the community wants so and that's right. ready that's it's already kind of implemented perfect. because it needs to be it needs to be implemented in the in the nfts right yeah, I mean, every every multi-chain functionality that you want needs to be implemented right. I mean, 
it's best to implement it right from the start. You need to implement it exactly in the smart contract. So this is the only way that you can be sure, like you can define there can be no copies, there can be no <laughs> other problems with it. So, And also, so a, a, another question. So in the future, well, would such an NFT as we see it here right now, like with an image and, you know, an artist behind it and real cool artwork, uh, can we pair such an NFT with with uh, with internet connectivity from our side, from 3 r Yeah, sure. So as we are doing the tokens and as we are developing the platform later, we can always link these NFTs. We can always define, let's say, NFT of the 3 r will, I don't know, give you a month of connection. Let's see, NFT of, I don't know, Lion will give you, I don't know, access to our mesh networking or give access to something else like, we can if maybe if they are not utility tokens at the moment we can later add this to it we can like connect them we can make every nft something else in the future so so is, is it possible like, to make a a kind of a jackpot that uh, you know that would grant you lifetime connectivity yeah i mean this is the best thing that we don't we don't give the utility and every code right from the start so we can like buy some nfts maybe hold them don't sell them at the moment maybe it will give you lifetime of internet or i don't know lifetime access to some kind of connection of course that would be cool you right be. you buy an nft once and, and, mm. and until you really hold it you just have internet that's uh you don't need to pay for the internet and any time in life anymore it's crazy that would be, that would be cool right <laughs> yeah, we're we're thinking about doing some. some this stuff, would some... this would be something new. <laughs> that would no, be everybody says that this utility focused NFTs are actually uh, something that it's or the future or something because the, it's really something to that and people are getting familiar with it. I am also, and it's just amazing. Yeah, and it's also a new aspect of the NFTs. It's no longer just a picture. It's actually giving them some, you're giving them some actual value, something like something tangible, something you can use in the real world, you know? Yeah. Uh, Rob, can I ask you to share the screen one more time and just maybe give us a sneak peek of the of the um, back end for token claims? Because what we are doing is, uh, as, as you said, the pre-sale is over. So on the pre-sale app, now we have like pre-sale.3r.io where you can then claim your tokens. But we want to have a consolidated app. So we are now building this app and we are putting the the... Um, claim uh, um, claim functionality also also on this app, and we'll start adding other things uh, to it. So uh, also the internet yes. connectivity and everything comes will yeah. come. To so it. yeah, the start we're beginning with the we're launch with with the NFTs and the claim trier dashboard where we'll transfer everything that we had from the pre-sale app. We'll ever transfer everything to our <laughs> let's call it app. <laughs> so. You'll have everything here. You will claim your token here. I mean, it's it's a familiar interface. It's still based on the old one. So everybody mm -hmm. knows what they're doing, where they are. But yeah, this is... But this claiming is tokens will only it. work... Claiming tokens will only work on BSC, right? We cannot do it like that. Yeah. It would be claimable on... Because then yeah, we have... I mean, yeah. There are some limitations when you're going multi-chain. I mean we can't add like vesting contract that will be multi-chain so we can't like actually guarantee that you will mint token on specific chain and propagate it to all of the other chains so the minting will be on bsc which i think is perfect for most people because you have a lot of liquidity here everything is easy for the users because they know it and the fees are okay i mean they're real low so yeah they're good i think that we can't go really better but so just just to just to explain a bit what, why we cannot do and let you mint the tokens on on whatever chain you would like from from the ones that we support is because what we would need to do we would need to have supply on each on of those chains and uh, if we have supply on each of those chains we cannot vest it 
we cannot vest it accordingly because we don't know where people will claim it. So then you would, it, it's potentially doable, but then you would just need to trust us that the, because the tokens would, wouldn't be, um, wouldn't be vested. So we would need to trust us kind of that, you know, we'll, we'll do the right things with the token, but how we're doing it right now, we are locking all our smart tokens in a smart uh, or our tokens in a smart contract and not even us will be able to use it unless un until it's vested to us so uh it's out of our hands everything is then done automatically and you can always trust that the code will do what it what it what it's supposed to do okay so, uh, you know, I can share also the screen right now and show you a bit uh, what kind of uh, NFTs you can expect. And those are those are our three-year NFTs. And uh, it's just uh, these ones are from, from, our, um, from our designer, so from Laura. Um, yeah. And... Um, yeah, let me let me know what you what you think uh, you know about about those ones. So it's uh, everything that 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 you'll see is uh, three are connected. So she, I think she's really a, a a good and talented artist. So I I really do like this one because all of those things that you see here, it's actually your pictures. It's your three air fingers that you sent in our our community. Um, so we've got like a few thousand of those uh, little uh, three-air fingers up. And what Laura did is she just uh, compiled them together in a, uh, in a collage and, and made something like this out of it. And I, and I think it's just amazing. It, it, it really is amazing. I really like this one very much. Um, yeah, so here we also have some of our images uh, put together. Um, our three air fingers, something funky, and a rhino man. <laughs> I know that Laura really likes lions and she likes rhinos and she likes elephants. So, um, well, cool. there's also, you know, here's also our pictures. Maybe you'll find yourself somewhere in the background. You never know. You never know. Oh. It's cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we will have some some images there. And this is also a one that I really like. So you'll see this is a part of a four images and when you when you compile them together you get a whole image of, of a lion. So this is right left and okay, this one not. <laughs> this one's funny. <laughs> that's one funny. Uh, yeah, and that, that's a part of the previous image. And uh, yeah, let's see this also. Wow. Yeah, and that's the last part of the four part image from the lion. Okay, so this is this is something you know that uh, that's coming up on the on the NFT marketplace. So those will be for sure the first NFTs that you'll be able to buy, um, and I think they're really cool. They're really cool. They really are. I was reading a conversation today in um, our Telegram group, and a lot of people are really getting to know NFTs. I think for the first time. And somebody wrote, the collectible side of N NFTs is tricky. I also have no idea where to start. I think the future of NFTs will be big in gaming and music. This was one of the comments. <laughs> so part of this, you know, NFTs is also educating people like we are doing all the time about what it is. I also see that there is a blog written on the subject of NFTs. We are talking about it right now here in AMA. And this is also a way to, to educate people and it's the right way. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, how to start with the collectibles? It, it is tricky and it's tricky because it's, it's not so hard to, to do something, right? And, you know, the standards of, uh, 
of let's say artistic standards are really really low in the nfts and it's not only about art but um, i kind of consider co co collectibles a partly like art and i think it's going to go a bit more into art and the other one is just you know having the the rarity there and um the the demand for it so it's more about the communities that are built around it than it is uh, about the actual let's say artistic value or you know image value if you have a large enough community that's for instance the the, the board ape club uh, it's for sure one of the best uh, examples of it so they have a huge community that's out and they they manage to create some value inside that because it mostly what it is there is just showing off right it's like look i have a board ape club it's like you have crazy expensive it's it's going it's almost something similar as, as driving a lambo it's just you can show it right now on on, on the internet that, that you're really wealthy so i think there is the the thing that uh, that drives still the value there but not everything can be something like that i do think that there will be some underlying value to the nfts and that will be deprived of the um derived of of the artistic value that that there is and you know once we start talking about art it's really really hard to value things uh because uh you know art is um it's it's almost impossible to value right so <clears throat> it is tricky it is tricky and the market is over overflown with it uh, so i think that the easiest way to do it is actually to look for additional utility of the nfts and mostly then the the communities around it and then of course you need to also like it i think it needs to kind of be likable so that also somebody else would, would want it and then you're good to go if you if you ask me so that's why i also think that the three-year nfts actually have some future because we are out to to build a, a huge huge community around it and a lot of stuff will be will be done around the nfts and as said we'll also be adding some of the additional utility that's never been seen before to, to them is this a possibility sandy to include other artists uh, we're yeah. talking of course yeah, yeah, absolutely. i know that we said but in what time let's say um so maybe maybe we can maybe we can let the rock go i know mean, he has a lot of work to do no. I, I <laughs> he'll, he'll sleep tonight so yeah, uh, yeah. So, uh, you know, um, let's let's give him a chance to to say bye bye and, uh, you know, go do some work. Yeah, so you don't just kill me out of the stream, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being with us and explaining uh, it all. Thank you. Yeah. No yeah, problem. Good Thank job, you. Good job. I think it's going in the right direction. We need to sort out. So give give us a bit of a feeling. When do when do you think uh, it's gonna be uh, ready for some uh, beta testing? So for like open beta testing, so that we would be able to put it on a on a real test net and people can go and click through it. I'm guessing we could do this. I think next week. Maybe some limited beta testing to some early users or some somebody that supported us from the start, and okay. then later roll it out to to a bigger community and switch everyone over. So, cool. sounds good. I so mean, it's it's not far away. A, a a a workable version. You know, you know the code. Yeah, the I mean, version is. yeah, I mean, as I said, I mean, we have the smart contracts ready. We have mostly our backend systems ready. It's the user interface that we're doing always at the last time. So we finish this and I think we can go to some beta test. Cool. Sounds good. So looking forward to that. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. So uh yeah, okay. go back there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. 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 Rock. And like Richard said, thanks, Rock, you rock. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So yeah, Rock was with us. Um, it's really <laughs> always nice to have him on. Um, he really does a good explanation of things and knows so much. So yeah. Great. Yeah, Rock is so smart. He's he's one of the smartest guys I know. He yeah, he really is. Mm -hmm. 
yeah. And you are just saying, you just go back to work and do some more work, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm a bad boss. I'm a bad boss. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a hard boss. So, okay, Sandy, this is a very, very nice thing. Um, so, actually, if, if we just, um, let's say, put it under a line, uh, we are actually, the plan is to launch NFTs that will give, uh, let's say, uh, holders benefits. Not only will they have something in their collection, but there will also be some benefits. And this is what three air NFTs are about. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So it's not only about uh, about the, the graphics that you see. And uh, it we, we want to give uh, some additional underlying value so that, you know, once you buy it, it kind of, you know, the image, it's, it's something that's on top of it mostly. Um, and um, then if it if it has some connectivity to it then then you know that you bought something that you can actually use that you would either way buy and then once you've used it up maybe it still has some value right but either way you won't be you won't be so disappointed if you just you know used your internet connectivity and then you just have a collectible somewhere still left um i think uh i think that uh, that is, is still something additional value that you would never else get and yeah, so the additional um, artists, we are we are in talks. I, I think with the start of the of uh, of the NFT marketplace, uh, there will be additional uh, artists in. So what you've seen right now, it's only from Laura, from our own in-house designer, and she does a great job. Um, but we are we are already speaking to to a dozen of uh, of africa based artists that you want to support and some are really really good some are really really nice um and we'll we'll include those images uh, so this those nfts uh uh really really um at well at the beginning i don't know if there'll be you know 10 artists or there'll be 20 artists or if there'll be five artists but for sure there'll be additional artists to it yeah yeah but it's great because the, the, there will be african artists and we could also get to meet what they're doing so yeah this is great. We have a couple of more minutes, so if there's any more questions, you're welcome to write them down. Uh, Sandy, did we forget about something? We were talking about a token launch, and then we were talking about work on the ground, NFTs. Um, did we forget something? Is it something else? Um, of course, about the market and what is going on right now, uh, and that we really can, that we don't have any influence on that. We can just observe and wait, right? Yes. Um, so I was I was hoping may maybe we can you know talk about the market a bit. Uh, it's uh, right now the whole market, not only the crypto market. So everything that's risk on. So all the stocks, uh, the tech stocks, uh, are are really you know being punished. Punished. It's it's they're being punished absolutely. Um, so uh, you know even even some of the stocks fell actually more than Bitcoin. Can you imagine that would not be possible? You know just a year ago probably. But there there were really some some you know good stocks. It was uh, I think uh, I think Netflix fell seventy five percent or something like that in value. Um, there were like really, really good, good stocks that were, that were falling 20, 30%. And that's, that's not something that's usual. It's, it's really almost un unprecedented. So it, it happens maybe just a few decades, uh, you know, once a few decades. So, uh, it, it is a tough market. I think the majority of the problems is from the, the, uh, war with Russia and um also uh, china is uh, getting into into some COVID lockdowns again so and why this is really really bad for the markets is that it causes the problem in the supply chain and um if if there is a slow supply chain then you get uh, higher prices because there is no you know um there is no supply that would actually be able to meet the demand so if the demand is is higher than supply just the prices go up so that's a big big thing and you know russia is still one of the biggest ones that are that's in oil exporting oil and gas so and that's that's a part of the the inflation index uh china has a lot uh, you know going on and exporting a lot of things so those things are getting uh more expensive because of the lockdowns there um so 
this is what drive what what are the outside drivers of the of of the inflation and then of course the the, the biggest thing is the us dollar is still the majority of all the markets are connected to the us dollar and uh everybody is looking at the us right now and their cpi index and uh just right now the cpi index uh, today came out again i think it came out at 8.3 percent or something like that and you know it was expected at around 8.34 maybe five something like that but it's still not good enough that uh, that um, we would like we would be able to say that the inflation is has picked out um and i and I, my personal opinion is also that it's kind of like artificially being kept a bit low we also need to know that uh us uh, is in an election year i think in november they have the election so i think right now they're doing everything that they can just to to stop the inflation but the problem is that there are so many outside drivers of the inflation that they don't have the control over so the war and uh, and and china are the biggest two ones so what they're doing is they're just you know damping down the the the, the uh, consumer expenditure and uh, you know if, if then there is demand is falling then the inflation that the prices might might also stop a bit you know at least stop rising so much so this is what they're trying to do right now but you know one while they're doing this they you know to do this they actually need to spread a bit of fear and they need to kind of uh, raise the the interest rates and uh, you know all the markets are leveraged so what what this means is that you know not only people majority is in is institutional so institutions go and borrow the money and then put it into into crypto or into stocks and so on and they are paying interest rates on this and what's happening if, if the fed then raises the interest rates that money becomes more expensive so what they're doing right now is they're taking the money out and repaying the loan so that's why there's so much outflow of the money um out of the out of the markets but uh, <clears throat> what what this what this is starting is is actually a recession so this is putting the whole world into the recession and that's again not something good for the election so i don't think that this is actually doable for for a long time so what i'm what i think it's going to happen is uh that uh, the fed will still continue maybe with a with a one two rate hikes but then they need to start printing money again because else they'll just uh, you know they, they need to revive the markets else they'll they, they'll lose the elections again so they are now playing i think a really dangerous game in in uh limiting the the, the inflation because if they wanna if they wanna uh, push the, the markets again it's again it's it's an inflationary environment so they need to do something that will raise the inflation again so it's kind of a uh, probably getting it timed right now so that in November the inflation is still a bit under control and the, the markets start going up but I think that what this actually set out uh, to out to is a, a big big recession in in the next years to come mm. Sandy I was listening to some experts and analysts uh, in the last days European and American and I think they should invite you, you know, to, to talk about it because <laughs> it looks like you know more about it than they do. So, yeah, this oh, is really... They great. know a lot. Don't worry. That, they that's know. all they, they but, know. They know. All the answers that they're giving right now is like, we are not sure what is going to happen in a month's time. We cannot predict. We cannot say. And uh, it, Either they don't know or they're holding it back, you know, like you said. And you are just saying it like it is. <laughs> Yeah, but it, it's it, you know I don't know if it's like that. It's it's how I see the whole the see, whole situation, yeah. but um, I I do think that there is a plan behind it. There is a plan behind it, and I don't think it's a plan that's that's uh, set out to do good for the people. It's it's a plan to hold them in power and get them reelected, and um, of course they need to do something good for the people to get reelected. But that can be really short lived, and and the price will be paid later on, and that's what I'm a bit afraid of. <clears throat> but this is also what what keeps me a bit bullish on the market now in the in the short term actually so the short doesn't mean in the next the few days or weeks uh but um for sure you know we'll, we'll i'm i'm pretty sure that we'll have a huge huge rally um in uh, going into into year closing thank you sandy 
just uh, um, because we're going through through the questions so that we don't leave uh, one open uh, here is also about um, when will the three air <coughs> ultimate pre-sale giveaway tokens be visible on our dashboard it's a question by by well, they should be visible already um let me check so i i forwarded this to the team and but yeah i i didn't get a response back from them if they put put them in because we still need to do that manually uh but they have the information there so uh good that you ask i'll, I'll ask again and we'll make this done um shortly so, okay uh, yeah so tomorrow but by friday it should be later saying it's not something that it's really a lot of work but i see that the team is just there they're putting this off for all the other stuff that they have to do okay and yoga i say just figured out that laura used my three finger hand for most of the nfts so just let me know if she needs a better quality of it <laughs> you, you you must have great fingers <laughs> yeah very pretty Mine are. Yeah, well, I wouldn't recognize my fingers. I you wouldn't? I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> They're long. <laughs> One goes a bit, you know. <laughs> Asymmetric. Yeah. Well, great. Great. AMA again. Thank you for giving us so much information. Uh, really quality information. And it's always nice to have you. Uh, I'm not saying as a guest, you're a co-host. You're you're actually the main speaker of this family, <laughs> so not a guest. And thank you, Sandy, I for always, being with us. I, I think we didn't miss one week, right, since we started in uh, in, in October. Oh. Now we are regular. <laughs> That's good. So, uh, well, uh, thank you, Sandy. Uh, an hour has passed. Uh, we will be here next uh, Wednesday with another subject, maybe with another guest. We will, we will, of course, let you know. Stay tuned. Be on our channels. Of course, subscribe to YouTube channel if you're not yet. Or please recommend it to some of your friends. And be with us all the time. We are happy to have you here. Sandy, get well. Take care of your health. And you. have a great rest of the day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.